Hello, my name is Joseph Fernandez, and I'm glad to have the opportunity today to share with you Salaja's story in accelerating ICT energy access in underserved markets. So I'll share with you today uh, more about Salaja, um, as well as the global problem of ICT energy access that we're addressing. Uh, we have a highly scalable solution that I would like to present to you, as well as then more details about our business and our impact. Before I dive into the rest of the presentation, I would just like to share with you these two quotations. The first by the CTO of MTN uh, in Uganda, uh, who addresses the uh, significant uh, challenge that MTN faces in accessing energy to support their mobile phone company operations. The second quotation by Dr. Laura Hossman of Arizona State University, who makes the very important point that it's fruitless to attempt to address the digital divide without an understanding of the underpinning electricity divide. So Salagio's purpose is to provide the inclusive and sustainable solar energy infrastructure to accelerate internet connectivity and empower millions with life enhancing access to information and knowledge. Our initial focus will be in the state of Maharashtra in India. We're very fortunate to have a very capable and experienced team. I've been based in Hong Kong for the past 20 years and have extensive experience with product procurement, product development, as well as managing global supply chains. I also helped to develop a DC LED TV that was selected as a finalist for the 2014 Global Leap Awards. Our head of engineering, Martin Bellamy, has over 25 years of experience in the off-grid solar space. Um, he's helped to deploy, for example, uh, highly reliable DC microgrid, microgrid installations uh, for offshore oil platforms. Martin also contributed to the design and development of a Pico Solar Lighting Solution that won the 2012 Lighting Africa Award. So we consider ourselves to be off-grid solar specialists and in just three short years, we've had the good fortune to work with leading off-grid solar companies uh, throughout the world. So the problem that Salagio is addressing, uh, we call it the development divide because it involves both the digital and electricity divide. Today, over half of the world uh, has no access to the internet, but underpinning that is the fact that there are 2.5 billion people with either no access or unreliable access to electricity services. So the end result is that without uh, electricity to power, the, or the electricity to power ICT equipment, is either not available, is highly unreliable, or prohibitively expensive. Specifically in India, there are 900 million Indians with no internet access today, and hundreds of millions with no electricity access. In the state of Maharashtra alone, there are 45,000 uh, villages with no internet access. And the growth in demand for internet services is, is expected to be highest, in the rural and peri-urban communities that Salagio targets. So to bridge the development divide, you must address both the electricity and digital divide. And this requires energy systems that go beyond the grid, that are distributed, that are highly reliable in order to power Wi-Fi equipment 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This also means higher capacity solar systems, yet the solar systems must be affordable on a pay-per-use basis. The systems should involve um, hopefully renewable energy sources so they can be more sustainable and contributing to the sustainability then would be local ownership, which also promotes local entrepreneurship. So our solution, we call it a sustainable solar Wi-Fi solution. It involves Solagio supplying the highly reliable 1.5 kilowatt Paygo solar system, which includes solar panels with 25 year life and lithium batteries that have a 10 year warranty. So they are not only highly reliable, but they also require very little maintenance over their life. Our country partner then is Lancome, which has uh, 20 years experience in the uh, ICT sector in India. They would supply and install the Wi-Fi system and also provide the cloud-based remote monitoring of solar and Wi-Fi installations. Importantly, Lancome would then also recruit and train the local micro entrepreneurs who would then service and maintain each of the solar and Wi-Fi installations. With the benefit then of internet connectivity, the micro entrepreneurs would be able to sell low cost data packages within their community. More than likely, the micro entrepreneurs already pro uh, providing services such as cable TV subscriptions, as well as SIM card top up. 
So the data package sales would then represent additional revenue streams for the micro entrepreneur. Importantly, our solution is also highly scalable. Each solar Wi-Fi installation would be able to support four access points. Each access point would be able to serve up to 50 users. So a single solar Wi-Fi installation would be able to serve then up to 200 users. And then of course, with each installation that we implement, we would be, add, be able to serve uh, many, many more users. We would be able to uh, provide two data packages for the micro entrepreneur to sell, a basic data package, as well as a premium data package. And then through the sale of these data packages on a daily basis, the micro entrepreneur would be able to generate recurring revenue to support himself as well as then to be able to pay Lancome and Solagio for the solar and the Wi-Fi installations. We estimate that the return on investment of the solar and Wi-Fi installation can be in as little as 12 to 18 months. So to filter things down, our value proposition is that there are millions in rural Maharashtra state who lack electricity as well as phone and internet connectivity. So Lajo then would provide the high capacity solar systems to our country partner in India to power their Wi-Fi installations within underserved communities. Our country partner would recruit and train local micro entrepreneurs to maintain the solar and Wi-Fi systems and also to sell low cost data packages that would generate recurring sustainable revenue streams to support all the key stakeholders. Of course, in any market, there is competition and within the solar Wi-Fi space, uh, certainly in India, there is. Um, there are companies that provide Wi-Fi services um, in the urban sector. Um, and in the solar space, there are companies that are serving both the urban and rural markets. We know of a company called Air Jaldi that is um, uh, deploying uh, Wi-Fi installations uh, in rural areas, but primarily in northern uh, India while Solaja and Lancome are focusing our efforts in Western India, initially in the state of Maharashtra. So our business model um, includes the sale of the solar systems with 30% margins for those systems. Our, uh, the Solaja portfolio then also includes uh, an extensive uh, range of solar powered products, which would then also contribute to our revenue streams. We have asset light operations with R&D and engineering in Hong Kong, local sales in India, as well as an outsourced manufacturing in China and later on in India. To summarize our financials in 2017, primarily by focusing on the pilot solar Wi-Fi pilot project, we would um, uh, estimate revenues of up to $400,000, uh, but have a net loss of just under $50,000. After validating our pilot project, however, we would expect to scale our operations in 2018 with 50 solar Wi-Fi installations per month, uh, which would then contribute to revenue of over $1 million. Uh, and during the course of 2018, we would expect to then uh, uh, hit break even as well. And then in 2019, we would expect to scale up our operations and um, uh, generate uh, uh, additional uh, revenue streams. So for the pilot project that we um, plan to implement in 2017, the objective would be to demonstrate and validate our unique solar Wi-Fi business model, as well as to streamline operations, fine tune the hardware and software, as well as importantly, refine the training of the micro entrepreneurs. We're focusing initially on just two districts in the state of Maharashtra uh, with the target of uh, 100 solar Wi-Fi installations. Each installation would be supported by a micro entrepreneur and each installation, as I mentioned, would be able to provide um, uh, internet connectivity to up to 200 users. So we would be able to impact up to 20,000 lives. And through these 100 installations also, uh, we would be able to displace up to 45 metric tons of CO2. So what we are seeking is 500 US uh, dollars, 500,000 US dollars in grant funding uh, for the solar Wi-Fi project uh, implementation. And through the solar Wi-Fi project, a pilot project, as well as then scaling up our operations, we would expect to have tremendous triple bottom line impact. The social impact would be in providing access to life enhancing services, including mobile payments and banking, as well as access to telehealth and e-learning solutions. Our environmental impact would be tremendous in displacing tons of CO2 and reducing pollution in the local environments. 
uh, very importantly, we would then also contribute um, uh, to the economic development of the local communities by providing additional revenue streams to local entrepreneurs. And we believe through the internet uh, connectivity, we would also enhance income opportunities for people in the local communities. So finally, I would just like to share with you some of Solajo's accomplishments to date. Thank you very much for your time and for giving me the opportunity to share with you today Solagio's story. Thank you.